When I was at school, my favourite subjects were maths and physics, and I think it was my maths teacher that inspired me to study engineering. He suggested I attend a Women into Science and Engineering course, and I think from that point I was hooked on engineering. I liked the idea that you could focus on problem solving and also make a difference to the world, and that's what led me to civil and structural engineering, with the ability to improve um, the infrastructure that helps people's lives and build lives for the better. On graduation I was given the opportunity to work on the construction of Euro Disney, initially as interpreter and then a site engineer. After that I spent 10 years with Atkins, um, initially in highways and transportation. Towards the end of that I spent some time um, working for Rally International um, as a project manager on a Mayan archaeological site, um, which was a very interesting period, working in a more developing country. Here at Sheffield we have a really strong design thread running throughout the curriculum. My particular focus has been on developing integrated and interdisciplinary design projects. In the first year, students do a project called the Global Engineering Challenge. In this, they focus on understanding the design process and also using sustainability as a driver for design. And they work together to tackle a project for a community in a developing country. In the second year, students do the Engineering You're Hired project. In this, it's much more industrial and commercially focused. Students work together using their technical skills to develop a proposal which they then present to industry. In the third year, civil and structural engineering students do the integrated design project. In this, they start off by looking at uh, the community impact of a project and how they communicate with the community. And then they move on to the conceptual design. And in this, they'll be looking at the foundations, the structure, the uh, drainage, the sustainability, but also how something's built. Um, how it impacts on the health and safety, the project management, the access to the site, etc. So there's a wide range of considerations at that early stage and, and then they move on into detailed design. And the idea is that we replicate the design process that people will be doing when they're in industry. There's many opportunities for a career in civil and structural engineering. We have graduates who design buildings, who model flooding, who manage construction projects and some who've gone into humanitarian engineering. It depends on your interests and your skills, but there's a wide variety of opportunities to help tackle the global challenges we're facing and all of them will help to make a difference to people's lives.